just when we thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, there are now murder hornets that are infesting certain areas of the world. Like, come on, give us a break here. What's next? Is there going to be a giant meteor headed towards Earth? Or mass volcanic eruptions? Who knows? Well, let's hope not. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. The voice you're currently listening to belongs to me, Lindsay Ivan, your voice of reason for today's video, which is Top 10 Spiders Scarier Than the Murder Hornets. But before I begin, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions. With that being said, let's dive on into the video. So yes, murder hornets. They sound super scary because of their name. In fact, they are the largest hornets in the world, with their stinger being three quarters of a centimeter long. Its venom alone is seven times more powerful than the venom from a honeybee. So yeah, seems pretty terrifying, right? Well, today I'm here to share with you some terrifying spiders that make the murder hornets look like nothing. Warning, this video may cause an extreme case of arachnophobia. Starting off this countdown, we have the Huntsman Spiders. The Huntsman Spiders are located in Australia, and just as their name suggests, they tend to hunt down their prey. These spiders are also pretty massive in size. They can weigh around one to two grams and can be as big as the palm of your hand. But the Golden Huntsman Spider can be over 5.5 grams, and their eggs are about the size of golf balls. Now, their venom isn't really toxic to humans, but their fangs are big enough to break the skin and cause wounds. Now, these spiders are incredibly fast. And I mean, Usain Bolt is considered slow compared to this spider. So these spiders run at about 42 body lengths per second. Just for comparison, Mr. Bolt runs at 5.2 body lengths per second. Yeah, these spiders are terrifyingly fast. In our ninth spot, we have the yellow sack spider. These are tiny little spiders that can be found under stones, leaves, or in grassy areas, but they are more commonly found indoors. They are about 0.12 to 0.6 inches in size. But don't be fooled, their venom contains a substance that can destroy human cells and impair their functions. It can also cause flesh-eating lesions, but that's in the worst case scenario. Typically, they may form big red pus-filled bumps. I hate to say this next part, but apparently they come out at night and they tend to crawl on people sleeping. It is said that in the US, more people are bit by this spider than any other kind of spider. Moving on at number eight, we have the wolf spider. Why is it given the name the wolf spider? Well, it's because they tend to chase and pounce on their prey just like how wolves do. Except unlike wolves, once the spider has successfully captured their prey, they either inject them with their venom, which turns their internal organs into liquid, or they crush them up into a ball. These spiders tend to live in grass or under stones or logs. Other species even live on cold mountaintops, in deserts, rainforests, and even in volcanic lava tubes. Now, here's a little interesting fact about these spiders. If they are in danger of a predator, they can drop a leg, which will then twitch and act like a distraction while they escape. Cool, but pretty creepy. Moving on at number seven, we have the Australian tarantulas. Yep, that's right. Australia has their own tarantula that's native to their land. The Australian tarantulas are sometimes called the bird-eating spiders because, you guessed it, they have been seen attacking and eating birds. But they typically eat lizards, frogs, or other spiders. These particular tarantulas can make a whistling or barking noise by rubbing their front limbs against their jaw. Now, these spiders are pretty dang big. Their body is around six centimeters and their leg span can be up to 16 centimeters long. Their fangs are about one centimeter long. Although their bites aren't fatal to humans, sadly, they can kill dogs. In our sixth spot, we have the six-eyed sand spider. Although the spider is considered shy, its venom is pretty dang potent. So this spider is one to two inches in size with a leg span of four inches. They are found in Southern Africa. They hide under sand and wait until their prey comes and then they'll pounce out and get them. Now these spiders typically don't attack humans unless they're provoked, but a bite can cause necrotizing fasciitis, AKA, flesh eating disease. And currently, there's no anti-venom available. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the black widows. According to National Geographic, the black widows are considered the most venomous spider in North America. Now, widow spiders are a group of 32 species and they are found all over the world except in polar regions. What makes them terrifying is that they are small and often go unnoticed, but they are highly poisonous. 
In fact, their venom is 15 more times stronger than a rattlesnake's. Like, imagine that. This spider is about the size of a paperclip, but it is way more venomous than a rattlesnake that can be about two meters in size. Black widows are identified by their hourglass shaped mark on their body. Now, if you are bit by a black widow, then you will experience pain and swelling around the bitten area. In more extreme cases, you can develop latrodectism. This can cause muscle spasms, high blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, severe sweating, and weakness. Now, their venom isn't typically deadly to humans, but many house cats have died from black widow bites. So you may be safe, but poor little Mr. Whiskers isn't. Moving on to number four, we have the Australian redback spider. Now, this spider is a close relative to the black widow spider of the US. The female redback spider's bodies are about the size of a large pea, but don't be fooled by their size. Their bites are dangerous. It can cause serious illnesses and have even caused deaths. When bit, the venom directly affects the nerves and will kill off your neurotransmitters. Thankfully, an anti-venom is available, but I still don't recommend getting anywhere close to this spider. This spider is a beast. In fact, there's a video out there of this spider killing and eating a freaking snake. Coming in at number three, we have the Sydney funnel web spider. The Sydney funnel web spider is said to be the deadliest spider in Australia. The spiders can be found in New South Wales in both forest and urban areas. In fact, they are said to find their way into people's backyards and fall into their swimming pools. Like just imagine going for a nice relaxing swim and seeing this guy floating along beside you. No thanks. Now this particular spider is around 1.5 to 3.5 centimeters in size. Their fangs are larger than Australian brown snakes. In fact, their fangs are so strong that they can pierce through toenails or fingernails. Their venom is so powerful that it can attack the human nervous system and can mess with our vital organs. Venom from the male spider can kill. This is especially terrifying since the males often make their way into homes. In fact, before the anti-venom was created, 13 deaths were reported by this spider in 1981. In our second spot, we have the recluse spiders. These spiders are also known as the violin spiders, fiddlers, or fiddlebacks because they have a dark violin shaped mark on their heads. These spiders are pretty small in size, but are highly venomous. More venomous than widow spiders. In fact, its venom contains a tissue destroying enzyme it can create big open sores in your skin, or it can cause certain tissues to develop gangrene. What's spooky is that they like to make their homes in shoes, clothing, or beds. So maybe shake out everything just in case the spider is lurking there. Now, I thought I was safe from the spider in Canada, but turns out they can be found in Canada as well as the US. And in our number one spot, we have the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider, sometimes called the banana spider, is considered the most venomous spider in the world. It's referred to as the banana spider because sometimes it's found in banana shipments. These spiders are pretty dang big. They are five centimeters long and their leg spans can be as long as 15 centimeters. Its venom can be very hazardous to young children. In one case, a single spider managed to kill two children. These spiders are considered to be very aggressive and tend to get into our homes. In fact, its venom is so strong that a super small dose of 0.006 milligrams of venom can kill mice. And that's all for today's video. Now, I don't want to make spiders out to be some big dangerous creature. In reality, most of these spiders listed won't cause any harm if you just leave them be. Once you invade their home or provoke them, that's when they can become deadly. So just respect nature and you'll be fine. Now, with that being said, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from my last video, what if Kim Jong-un caught the coronavirus? What's up commented, wait, is Lindsay Ivan from Most Amazing Top 10 on life's biggest questions? No, 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 it's not me. Uh, we just uh, sound the same and have the same name. Macaroonies commented, what if Siren Head fought the rake? Now these are the questions I like to hear. Let me know in the comments below who you think would win. Honestly, I gotta go with my pal Siren Head. Oh, Yellow YT commented, dun dun dun. Very dramatic comment, I love it, thank you for that. And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious, YouTube.